So I'm David. I'm about 30 years old. I have been a quad for about 12 years. I'm a C4 quad. I was injured in a skiing accident during winter break after my first semester in undergrad. Eight months after my injury, in August of 2003, I decided to return back to school. I finished my degree in chemical engineering in May of 2006. After that, I moved on to a PhD in grad school um, and finished that in August of 2011. So altogether, I've been a professional student for about eight years, and I thought I might be a good person to pass along some experiences and stories. So hop along and let's go on a dream journey. All right, so back to August 2003, rural Pennsylvania. Come on, work with me, folks. Put on a few LBs in 11 years. It's a little difficult. Okay. I don't think that's gonna work. So, it's story time it's instead. Um, we might have a few pictures in this story for those of you who like stories with pictures. So, um, here we go. For undergrad, I went to Bucknell University in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Going back to school at Bucknell was a challenge because they had never had someone in my situation before. They, they told me that they thought they had a student that had broken their leg one time and needed a wheelchair to get around. So, there was not much precedence for accessibility and the needs of someone with a spinal cord injury. Great. Now, sounds like an awful idea, but I had started at Bucknell and I really wanted to continue. But I think because the school had never really dealt with someone like me, they're actually very creative in the ways that they, they solve some of these issues with uh, needs and accessibility. Even under the umbrella of what's, quote, reasonable. Uh, we worked out my housing situation in the dorm. We, were, we arranged to have a few of my friends nearby. Uh, worked out so that when I went to class, some of the other students would provide their notes so that I was okay with the school. They knew that that was going on and that was okay. Um, the school was even willing to help me out with uh, homework and testing scribes. So these scribes would come in for homework two, day, uh, two hours a day, which wasn't a lot as a chemical engineer, but um, I had to organize my time to get that done, and I also did a lot by computer, so I, whether, whether I had typing to do, I would do that with Dragon, or research to do, I could do that on my own. There's a lot you can do with the computer, so I, I tried to do that as much as I could. These were also the scribes that came to my testing, so that was great because they already worked on a lot of the problems and they were familiar with a lot of the, the Greek letters and the types of diagrams that I was drawing. You know, they, they hadn't quite learned how to do it themselves yet, so I couldn't ask them what the answers were, but uh, they... They did know a little bit how to write things so that it didn't take too long, but they did give me extra time since I was uh, dictating to someone what I wanted to write and also telling them how, what I wanted to do on the calculator. So that, with that extra time, I was able to get tests done uh, in, in correct time. So altogether, the school was very great about figuring out what was needed. And although the disability office had worked with other disabilities, but never really uh, a physical disability like mine, they were great about working with me to try to make sure that I had everything I needed. Has anyone heard of the quote that college is the best four or eight years of your life? I'm pretty sure that the person who said that was on the right track. College was so much better than if I had tried to stay home and not go back to school, stay home with my mom and dad. Uh, no, no offense, mom and dad, uh, but I think you're on my boat with this. I was way into prices right at the time. I would watch so much Price is Right, I would have watched every court show that was on each day. I would watch reruns of Mari. It, I mean, sounds pretty good. I was so happy at school. I didn't have the free time that a lot of my able-bodied friends did. They were doing a lot more things, and even without that, I had such a great time in school. It was great being around friends. It was great uh, going to parties when they were accessible. It was great going to the bar when I was finally of age. Was, there was so much great stuff in college and I was sad to finally graduate. I went to grad school in UT Austin. A lot of my Colorado friends could not believe I was going to Texas for school, uh, but if you have not been to Austin before, you have got to go. It is a sweet city. Uh, for those of us who don't like the cold, the weather's great, the outdoor scene and the bars are great. Again, I talk a lot about bars, but this is a college video, right? We gotta talk about drinking and stuff. There's just a lot to do, and it's a very outdoorsy place. So if you like the outdoors, that's great. It's very quirky. There are a lot of uh, quirky places. So I had an amazing time in Austin. 
In grad school, as far as accommodations went, I needed significantly less than when I went back to Bucknell. I, I focused to try to find a research area that was computer focused. And so, whereas undergrad was all classes, so since I was in a computer field and I could do a lot by computers, it was a lot easier to get by without needing accommodations from the school. Nevertheless, they still helped me with accessibility, note taking and test taking, things like that. But because UT is a much bigger school than Bucknell was, they had a little bit more experience with this and were not quite as shocked when I, I wanted to come to school in Texas. So in addition to uh, the, the school things, I worked hard to find a house that was on a bus line so I could independently come and go during the day on the bus. Um, I also got a house that I lived with two roommates that would help me with things throughout the day. So that was also really great. I had a great time with those guys. Grad school was also when I had a little bit more time for socializing. Uh, there was uh, going downtown on the weekends, going to weekly trivia, trying to bust my smarts, uh, going bowling every now and then, and of course, we had a few grad student parties. Ah, so we're out of story time and back to real life. I've been working for three years now, and I do love being an adult. I love being out in the real world. I love being independent. But, but these stories are making me remember that I miss school, so all the best to you students returning to campus this year. And as always, you stay classy.